Hello, Book Leaguers. Welcome to Book League Storytime Adventures. I have another Supply Jane adventure. It's called Supply Jane Clears the Way by Meg Preston, illustrated by Annetta Emmerstorfer. I could be wrong, but I believe these are the first of their kind children's books that bring supply chain logistics and inventory management to life. I really like them because it makes these difficult concepts into fun, easy to understand stories. And I love dragons, you know, you can't go wrong with dragons. And I know you're going to love it. So let's go. Supply Jane's uncle owned a dragon food factory. Uncle Manny's dragon food was the best on the market because it had a secret ingredient. Dragon food with a secret ingredient for extra fiery breath, plus a toy. Orders for dragon food came in from far and wide. The factory's employees worked around the clock to produce enough dragon food to keep up with demand. Everyone was working hard as they could, but they still couldn't make the dragon food fast enough to fill all the orders. Each day, they fell further behind. One day, Supply Jane and FIFO visited Uncle Manny at the factory. What's wrong? Supply Jane asked. We've made all sorts of improvements, he replied, but we still can't keep up with our orders. Our customers are starting to get angry. Hmm, said Supply Jane. Let's take a look. They went through the factory, starting with the mixing vats. We bought extra large mixers so that we could make bigger batches of dragon food, Uncle Manny explained. It's very efficient. They went to the baking ovens. We changed the recipe so that we could bake the dragon food at a higher temperature. It takes much less time now. They went past the loading dock. We even bought roller skates for the shipping department so they could load the trucks faster. But we still can't keep up with our orders. Well, Supply Jane said, the slowdown must happen somewhere between baking and shipping. Let's work backwards until we find it. Just then, FIFO returned with something in his mouth. He dropped it at Supply Jane's feet, and she picked it up. Uncle Manny, what is this? It looks like a dragon food toy, said Uncle Manny. But why is it melted? That's it, Supply Jane said. FIFO, where did you find this? FIFO trotted off with Supply Jane and Uncle Manny close behind. They followed FIFO to Body Next Station. Body's job was to add a collectible toy to the dragon food boxes. She worked very quickly most of the time, but sometimes toys would melt. So she would have to break rhythm and wait for the next one. Dragon food boxes were piling up behind her. Body's workstation is too close to the test kitchen, Supply Jane observed. The secret ingredient makes the taste tester's breath even more fiery than normal. That melts the toys, making Body's job twice as hard. No matter how much it was mixed or how quickly it baked, the dragon food wasn't ready for customers until the toy was added to the box. The factory could only produce dragon food as fast as the slowest step in the process, Uncle Manny realized. Body Neck is slowing everything down, but it's not her fault, said Supply Jane. If we can remove the obstacles and help her work faster, we can make the whole factory more efficient. What if we enclose the test kitchen in heat-resistant glass? Then the toys won't melt, and Body won't have to spend time sorting out the bad ones. It worked. Without the extra step, Body could put toys in the boxes as fast as she received them. No more pile-ups. Thanks, Supply Jane, said Uncle Manny. We cleared the way for Body Neck, and now the whole factory is more efficient. We can produce enough dragon food to keep all of our customers happy. You're welcome, Supply Jane said. Remember, to make a process more efficient, find and fix the bottleneck. The end.